He, he was just a small, uh, small town personality guy. He'd talk to anybody. He, had, he, uh, uh, everybody uh, uh, loved to see him coming. And uh, uh, except, I'm sure some of the some of the people on the football field. One of Arkansas's biggest and brightest personalities was lost this week. Former Razorback lineman and Super Bowl champion Mitch Petrus, Petrus rather, died from a heat stroke. Mitch first made a name for himself in Carlisle in high school, but as our sister station sports director Wes Moore reports, it didn't take long for the rest of the state, the rest of the country, to get to know Mitch. Mitch Petrus walked on at the University of Arkansas in 2005. At first he was a fullback, but then moved to the offensive line. Former Razorback assistant coach Gus Malzahn coached Mitch in the Arkansas High School Football All-Star Game and again at the University of Arkansas. He loved football. He had a great passion. Um, you know, he had great positive energy. I can't remember one time that I felt like he had a bad day. He was just one of those real positive people that had great positive energy. By 2007, Mitch was an all-SEC lineman for Houston Nutt while blocking for Darren McFadden. He just knew that, uh, you know, he had it. He had this want to. And uh, he had this enthusiasm and this passion. Uh, the, whether he was in the weight room, and he was so strong. Weight room or on the field, uh, you, you just, just loved his attitude, you loved his energy, and you loved the way he brought it every single day. Man, that's a, that's, that's a tough, man. Um, a guy like Mitch Patrick, man, that's a, that's a guy that's a, he's a joy to be around, man. He can put a smile on anybody's face, brighten up any room that he walks into, man. It's, um, it's just a tough deal to, you, to lose a guy like him so young, man. Mitch made All-SEC again in 2009 as a redshirt senior. He went to the NFL Combine and put on a show, putting up 45 reps in the bench press, the second most ever. The New York Giants selected Mitch in the fifth round of the 2010 NFL Draft. He started three games in 2011 and won a Super Bowl ring with the Giants. His NFL career came to an end in 2013. I'm Mitch Petras, and we're here at North Little Rock versus McClellan, and we have the first half highlights coming up. The NFL's loss was our game. In 2015, Mitch began reporting for Fearless Friday. Election season is upon us. We got more food than Golden Corral. I am officially running for Senate. Joe T. Robinson is my running mate. Oh, God, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Every Friday night in the fall for the last four seasons, he put on a show for high school football fans. That was Westmore reporting Mitch was just 32 years old. If you would like to pay your respects to Mitch and his family, you can do so this weekend. There will be a public memorial service this Sunday afternoon at 3. It will be inside Carlisle High School's gym. It is open to family, friends, and fans. And as we go to break, we take a look back at many of the memorable moments from one of our friends who will be very missed. Election season is upon us. We got more food than Golden Corral. I'm glad you're here, though. I'm sure glad you're here. I like it. We fought in three, four goes. I thought there was real confusion. I thought guys adapted. I am officially running for Senate. Joe T. Robinson is my running mate. Mitch, I'm going to let you get out of the chair. It looks like you're about to break it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I got one question for you. How does this game remind you of your forefathers? Yeah. 